Hello you guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to a video for the scrap room showing off and playing with some of the new April flavors of the month kit. This is just one portion of that kit and each flavor of the month kit you get four different mini collections and this is the Cardabella portion of that mini collection. So this is Cardabella here and there. Very gorgeous. Semi travel, semi just kind of a life theme. Um, everyone's going to get two pieces of cardstock, three pattern papers, and some embellishments in every portion of Flavor of the Month kit. So that's what comes in each of those little mini kits that's in the kit, if that makes any sense. I'm so, sure I'm sounding like I'm rambling. Um, but I'm going to play with the cut file that was released, Life is So Sweet by Cut to You, exclusive cut file for um, subscribers this month. But in this kit, you're going to get two pieces of white cardstock. Every And then everything in this kit is going to be the same for everybody because nothing's variable. Because everyone's going to get the entire 12 by 12 sticker sheet from the collection. A lot of good stickers on here. I'm excited for that. And then the three pattern papers everyone is going to get is going to be um, Making Memories, which I believe is this one, yes. So I like this, I like, B. if this is called the B-side, I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure on theirs it is, even though the name of it is back here. But I love a good semi-solid for backgrounds, that layering, that kind of thing. This is also pretty, but I'm a huge fan of this, this side. Um, so Making Memories, this is Fresh Daisy. Uh, there's daisies and then this beautiful yellow I love me a good yellow and then last but not least this is bunches of beauty so this is also kind it's like a floral uh, geometric pattern in a way if you use your imagination but I love it it's it's a gorgeous green and then Cardabella always has this lovely lovely green and then a beautiful floral on the back so I'm gonna go ahead and get my cut file cut out in the white cardstock you see, I saw a picture of it, um, and then I'm going to pick out some photos, and I will show you my backed cut file and my plan in a moment. So I just went ahead and created it uh, without a thought, <laughs> without stopping to record or anything. So I apologize for that. I did end up bringing in um, some papers that were not in the original kit that are from the add-on. So I've got some papers that are from add-on and the some, um, like this paper is from the add-on and some embellishments because this is an ephemera piece. Um, and these are all stickers from the sticker sheet. I found the perfect photo. I So I'm gonna tell you how I kind of started making this. I got the stencil recently and I, so at first I backed the cut file and I was like, okay, I really like these colors. I want it, I don't really want to put it on a pattern paper because I want these colors to shine. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna use a stencil. So I got a stencil recently from Scrapping Reflections Stencil of the Month Club. And I put it down and I was like, okay, what colors am I gonna use? Well, I grabbed um, Speckled Egg, of course, because it's like the perfect color for this green in the Cardabella. I grabbed Squeezed Lemonade and we grabbed, it was a Victorian Lilac, I don't remember. No, I think so. I think that's what it was. I don't know why I don't have it right here because oh there. Um squeeze lemonade. Yep, Victorian velvets are not lilac. And lemonade. Uh no, speckled egg, sorry. And I just put it through the stencil randomly and then kind of blended them a little bit, splattered with water, or I wiped them with baby wipe just to kind of mute it a little bit, and then I splattered with water when it was all dry. I'm sorry, my light is dying. I'm trying to do this fast so you guys can still see the light. And then I decided I wanted another pattern, so then I got this. So this is the other side of that gorgeous paper. I put it down. And then realized I had the perfect photo. So I matted my photo in the green that I did, the flowers in on top of the cake, and then the back side of that is this fun multi-floral and white. So I thought that would be fun. So I double matted it 
and I was like, this photo's perfect. I didn't like, I just printed it um, just for funsies because I wanted to use it somehow and I did not plan on using it with this and it, it just worked out great. So I popped all of this up on foam and it just, I love this page. <laughs> It turned out really good. This cut felt awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out the Scrap Room store. Go get your kit. Go get your add-ons and um, get the kit and then you can get this awesome cut file to use as well. And then make sure you check out the Facebook group and check out some inspiration that everybody's showing you. But there you have it. Thank you guys. Bye.